so this is the real scenario this is the blood spills so i have already wear my ppe then hello youtube viewers it's Biohazard means for management and blood spill, urine and vomit spill kits. For chemical spill kit, we don't uh, apply that one. So only biohazard spills in the hospital. Cytotoxic spill also, these are the spills for the cytotoxic drugs. So for the infection control, we are focusing only for the biological. So biological spills we include blood, urine, vomitus, pus, feces that we include diseases producing microorganisms. So components of biological spill, PPE, this is there is gown, gloves, yellow biohazard bag, scope and scraper, absorbent powder, chlorine disinfectant tablet, disposable wiping cloth. Cushion board. Absorbent powder? Yeah. Then? Absorbent powder, chlorine disinfectant tablet, the disposable wiping cloth, cushion board. So later on, I have to demonstrate to you one by one. Then, these are the following appropriate processes for managing of spill. So for volume of spills, for the spot cleaning, if the if your if the spills is only below lower than 10 centimeter, then it's only small spill. Mm -hmm. But for yeah, more, uh, lower than 10 centimeter, yeah, lower than 10 centimeter. But if more than 10 centimeter, it's uh, considered big spill. So if there is 10 centimeter, you have to select appropriate PPE. So you have to select the what kind of spills you are using. Then for large spills, more than 10 centimeter. So usually this one in the living room, this bag of water, more than 10 centimeter. Or there is vomiting, to, uh, there is urine, more than big. So that is considered big spills. I have to demonstrate to you the steps of using spill kit. Okay, this is the spill kit we are using in the hospital. This is considered disposable. So, in every department, there are different spill spill kit. So, in laboratory, we have different spill kit. We have also different in OR. So this is for the general use. Okay. First is you have to open this box. Then first, second is you have to put the cushion board. So in the area, there is big cushion board there. That is the yellow, the big plastic. But this is for demonstration only. So this is, for example, this is cushion board. So for example, if the spills is here, if the spills is more than 10 centimeter, you have to apply this. But for less than 10 centimeter, you have to use only tissue, tissue then spray, disinfectant, like that. Then you have to use gloves only. But for this, this is considered big, more than 10 centimeter, you have to apply this. So first, I have to wear the PPE. So 
wear the PPE. And then gloves. Do you have a spare kit in your area? Okay. Then, next step is, I have to prepare the yellow box. Absorbent powder. This is the absorbent powder. Then you have to pour on the area. So it will take two minutes. You have to wait for two minutes to absorb this in the absorbent powder. Then after that, you have to remove the scraper. You have to use this one scraper. See? Like this. Then in the wet yellow box. Then after that, this is the tablet. Uh, this Clorox tablet. Yeah, chlorine tablet. You have to put water here, this level. Then it will dissolve after that. Then after that, you have to pour on the area of spill. Then you have to wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes to. Uh, this is the contact time of Clorox or chlorine. Then after that, you have to wipe. After 10 minutes, you have to wipe from outside to inside. Then throw in the yellow plastic. Then after that, finish already you have to remove everything remove the gloves then the gown then everything everything you have to put in the yellow plastic then do hygiene okay so this is the real scenario this is the blood spills so, I have already wear my PPE, then the cushion board already put in front of the door, so nobody can step on it. So, this is the absorbent powder I have to put here. So, we will wait this one for at least two minutes. So, while waiting for it for two minutes, I have to prepare the Clorox, the chlorine tablet. So, to put water. So it's dissolved already. So the Clorox is dissolving. So now it's absorbed already. So we'll wait for one minute more. So why nurses is the responsible to clean this up because you cannot call uh, directly to the cleaner because the cleaner is very negligent 
so maybe they are using the map directly then there is the risk for outbreak in the hospital for transmission of these certain diseases that is present in this blood so usually here in the hospital the cleaner is the one but we are supervising them if the nurses is not busy they are the one doing but if nurses is busy the cleaner is the one but under the supervision so here it's already two minutes so i have to already absorbed everything is absorbed so it's it's the surface is safe already so i have to discard everything in the yellow bag my hazard bag then now i have to pour the chlorine on the side Organism can be free in this area. So we will wait for 10 minutes. So all the blood stain is already gone. Ready 10 minutes, we have to wipe everything. From uh, outside to inside. So we can use now the floor map so this surfaces is safe already for the microorganism so we can use the map or we can call the cleaner so now it's time to remove the PPE and don't forget to wear and uh, don't forget to do hand hygiene hand washing